Chapter 40 In the twenty-fifth year of our captivity, at the beginning of the year, on the tenth day of the month, in the fourteenth year after the city was captured, on the very same day the hand of the Lord was upon me, and he took me there. In the visions of God he took me into the land of Israel, and set me on a very high mountain. On it toward the south was something like the structure of a city. He took me there, and behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of bronze. He had a line of flax and a measuring rod in his hand, and he stood in the gateway. And the man said to me, Son of man, look with your eyes and hear with your ears, and fix your mind on everything I show you. For you were brought here so that I might show them to you. Declare to the house of Israel everything you see. Now there was a wall all around the outside of the temple. In the man's hand was a measuring rod six cubits long, each being a cubit and a handbreadth. And he measured the width of the wall structure, one rod and the height one rod. Then he went to the gateway which faced east, and he went up its stairs and measured the threshold of the gateway, which was one rod wide, and the other threshold was one rod wide. Each gate chamber was one rod long and one rod wide. Between the gate chambers was a space of five cubits, and the threshold of the gateway by the vestibule of the inside gate was one rod. He also measured the vestibule of the inside gate, one rod. Then he measured the vestibule of the gateway, eight cubits, and the gate posts, two cubits. The vestibule of the gate was on the inside. In the eastern gateway were three gate chambers on one side and three on the other, the three were all the same size, also the gateposts were of the same size on this side and that side. He measured the width of the entrance to the gateway, ten cubits, and the length of the gate, thirteen cubits. There was a space in front of the gate chambers, one cubit on this side and one cubit on that side. The gate chambers were six cubits on this side and six cubits on that side. Then he measured the gateway from the roof of one gate chamber to the roof of the other. The width was twenty-five cubits, as door faces door. He measured the gate posts, sixty cubits high, and the court all around the gateway extended to the gate post. From the front of the entrance gate to the front of the vestibule of the inner gate was fifty cubits. There were beveled window frames in the gate chambers, and in their intervening archways on the inside of the gateway, all around, and likewise in the vestibule. There were windows all around on the inside, and on each gatepost were palm trees. Then he brought me into the outer court, and there were chambers and a pavement made all around the court. Thirty chambers faced the pavement. The pavement was by the side of the gateways, corresponding to the length of the gateways. This was the lower pavement. Then he measured the width from the front of the lower gateway to the front of the inner court exterior, one hundred cubits toward the east and the north. On the outer court was also a gateway facing north, and he measured its length and its width. Its gate chambers, three on this side and three on that side, its gate post and its archways, had the same measurements as the first gate. Its length was fifty cubits, and its width twenty-five cubits. Its windows and those of its archways and also its palm trees had the same measurements as the gateway facing east. It was ascended by seven steps, and its archway was in front of it. A gate of the inner court was opposite the northern gateway, just as the eastern gateway, and he measured from gateway to gateway one hundred cubits. After that he brought me toward the south, and there a gateway was facing south, and he measured its gateposts and archways according to these same measurements. There were windows in it, and in its archways, all around, like those windows, its length was fifty cubits, and its width twenty-five cubits. Seven steps led up to it, and its archway was in front of them, and it had palm trees on its gateposts, one on this side and one on that side. There was also a gateway on the inner court, facing south, and he measured from gateway to gateway toward the south, one hundred cubits. Then he brought me to the inner court through the southern gateway. He measured the southern gateway according to these same measurements. Also its gate chambers, its gate posts, and its archways were according to these same measurements. There were windows in it and in its archways all around. It was fifty cubits long and twenty-five cubits wide. There were archways all around, twenty-five cubits long and five cubits wide. Its archways faced the outer court. Palm trees were on its gateposts, and going up to it were eight steps. And he brought me into the inner court facing east. He measured the gateway according to these same measurements. Also its gate chambers, its gateposts, and its archways were according to these same measurements. And there were windows in it, and in its archways all around. It was fifty cubits long and twenty-five cubits wide. 
Its archways faced the outer court, and palm trees were on its gateposts on this side and on that side, and going up to it were eight steps. Then he brought me to the north gateway and measured it according to these same measurements, also its gate chambers, its gate posts, and its archways. It had windows all around. Its length was fifty cubits, and its width twenty-five cubits. Its gate posts faced the outer court. Palm trees were on its gate posts, on this side and on that side, and going up to it were eight steps. There was a chamber and its entrance by the gate posts of the gateway, where they washed the burnt offering. In the vestibule of the gateway were two tables on this side and two tables on that side, on which to slay the burnt offering, the sin offering, and the trespass offering. At the outer side of the vestibule, as one goes up to the entrance of the northern gateway, were two tables, and on the other side of the vestibule of the gateway were two tables. Four tables were on this side, and four tables on that side, by the side of the gateway, eight tables on which they slaughtered the sacrifices. There were also four tables of hewn stone for the burnt offering, one cubit and a half long, one cubit and a half wide, and one cubit high. On these they laid the instruments with which they slaughtered the burnt offering and the sacrifice. Inside were hooks, a handbreadth wide, fastened all around, and the flesh of the sacrifices was on the tables. Outside the inner gate were the chambers for the singers in the inner court, one facing south at the side of the northern gateway, and the other facing north at the side of the southern gateway. Then he said to me, This chamber which faces south is for the priests who have charge of the temple. The chamber which faces north is for the priests who have charge of the altar. These are the sons of Zadok, from the sons of Levi, who come near the Lord to minister to him. And he measured the court, one hundred cubits long and one hundred cubits wide, four square. The altar was in front of the temple. Then he brought me to the vestibule of the temple, and measured the doorpost of the vestibule, five cubits on this side and five cubits on that side. And the width of the gateway was three cubits on this side and three cubits on that side. The length of the vestibule was twenty cubits, and the width eleven cubits. And by the steps which led up to it there were pillars by the doorposts, one on this side and another on that side.